Hi, it's Lenny Liebman from Dark Reading, and I'm here at RSA with Stu Showerman, who is founder and CEO of No Before. Stu, it's good to see you again. It's great to be here. So, with all the other endpoint technology that's being addressed at RSA, mm -hmm. I feel like one thing that isn't being spoken about is the actual human who's sitting at the endpoint. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about that? Sure. Um, you know, the end user, the employee, is and will remain to be the weak link in your IT security. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, you need all your layers, you need your endpoint, you need your network, your firewalls, but you need to address this continuing problem of social engineering. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that additional layer, which we like to call the human firewall, mm -hmm. if you don't have that, you will continue to fall victim to the bad guy. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people I speak to are dismissive of the side of things because they say to me literally this, if you depend on your end user, you've already lost. I understand that perspective and that essentially is true, mm -hmm. but you don't depend on them. Your, your end user is your last line of defense, mm -hmm. um, but you really have to have that line in place. Mm -hmm. If you don't and you just rely on your software layers, um, you're set up for um, a data breach. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and also attackers are getting smarter, even though our end users might be more sort of digitally literate, we think, um, attackers are getting smarter about this because it is a vulnerability. True. Um, over the last five years, your bad guy has come up in sophistication level significantly. Mm -hmm and they are now able technically to send fairly personalized spear phishing attack. It holds the middle between phishing and spear phishing that uh, can get an end user to, wow, uh, this looks so real, and they open up the attachment. Um, and in particular, there's kind of this OODA loop model. Maybe you want to talk about that? Well, one. sure. Um, you know, OODA stands for O-O-D-A, and that's observe, orient, decide and act. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, uh, uh, call it a discipline that got into the US Navy air, air team. You mm -hmm. know, you're talking about your fighter pilots here yeah. in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And so this is a strictly analytical, what's my situation? Mm -hmm. um, where am I? Where's the enemy? I am going to do this and then you do it. Mm -hmm. um, what the bad guy is trying to do is move away from this analytical short. It can, it can be a, you know, a split second to I see something and I act, mm -hmm. meaning they're trying to cut out the decision-making step, meaning go into a, a reflex, knee-jerk kind of reaction like, mm -hmm. oh, this is either dangerous or, ooh, I can make a bunch of money or and click. Mm -hmm. And so they are breaking into the OODA loop mm -hmm. and get from purely analytical to reactive. And that is, we train people to stay analytical. Look at that email. Mm -hmm. Could it be a scam? Mm -hmm. Wait three seconds before you click. Mm -hmm. So, so tell me a little bit about this. So, so what is the no before sort of what's the technology, the tool, the process by which you improve the resistance of my end users to these tracks? Okay. All right. Um, just three step process. First step, you do your baseline test. We recently did a massive new analysis. The average countrywide fish prone percentage on a baseline is around 27%. That's 27% of your end users will click on a good phishing attack. Mm -hmm. So you use that as your catalyst. You say, we have a problem. We need training. So step two, you step e each of these end users through online, interactive, engaging training through the browser, mm -hmm. you know, on demand. Whenever they, you know, can do it, they do it. And then comes step three, which is the answer to your question, frequent simulated social engineering tests, which could be a phishing email or vishing with a V through the phone or smishing straight to their cell phone.
Mm -hmm. and sometimes combinations, so making sure they stay on their toes with security top of mind. So though beyond any numbers, like 27% of the general population is susceptible to clicking on something, there's some specific attacks that even if they get through a little bit, they're really dangerous for organizations. I'm thinking in particular about sort of CEO-centered exploits. Yes. Uh, in general, your user population starts at 27%. Mm. Um, then you start to actually fish them frequently, and over a year that drops down to about 2%. Mm -hmm. So there's definite dramatic improvement. Um, the, the CEO fraud in particular is, is incredibly expensive if the target falls for the attack. Mm -hmm. um, there could be somebody in accounting who is getting an email from the CEO right. who happens to be traveling and hey, we're in a confidential acquisition, please transfer a million bucks to so-and-so bank in Hong Kong. Um, it's very hard to claw back money that after 24 hours. So that's the kind of thing that we train people on way more specific. So um, we have instant remediation for high risk employees that you can test with specific CEO fraud scenarios mm -hmm. and then if they fall for it we go oops you clicked on a phishing link or oops you replied to a bad guy here's some training yeah and i think it's particularly important because while you said that the training can be done at the convenience of the end user mm -hmm. um you still don't want to just do sort of spray and pray you still want to restrict the training you're doing to where you have deficiencies yes um, we, we allow the uh, the administrator to create different groups mm -hmm. And uh, your groups could be uh, several uh, column geographies mm -hmm. or different um, column groups like accounting or HR or legal. And you can focus on those particular groups in your organization and do specific attacks to inoculate them against the type of risk that they are exposed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's really important to focus also, just it's a little bit like Boy Who Cried Wolf. When people sit through training that they don't think is relevant, it makes them um, less receptive to the training that they do need. That is true. Um, however, most employees these days understand that the bad guys are actually trying to get in. Mm -hmm. And we've found very often we get very positive feedback from the employee side mm -hmm. with, wow, uh, this was very useful. It will also help me to stay safe at the house. Yes. Uh, so it's, it, uh, most of our customers get pleasantly surprised by the feedback from their employees. Yeah, that's great to do something productive that actually people appreciate almost from an HR benefits point of yeah, view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost a perk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to share before we wrap up? Um, you know, uh, I would say uh, go to the Know Before website mm -hmm. and do the free phishing security test. Mm -hmm. You can upload 100 users. You can send them a phishing test. You can find out what your own fish prone percentage is and that is usually an interesting surprise and higher than you might think. Yeah, that's a great free diagnostic. Thanks so much, Stu. You're welcome. That's Lenny Liebman of Dark Reading from RSA with Stu Showerman from Know Before. Thanks for watching.